a couple other civilizations we're going to mention just very briefly because we want to make sure we're not thinking, hey, everything starts there in the Middle East. This same idea of living along a river like the Egyptians did, like they did in Mesopotamia and the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, happens in the Indus River Valley, happens uh, in Chinese civilizations along various rivers. This is the Shang Dynasty here. So realize people come upon the same idea at various times in various places at about the same time. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's move on and realize some important causes and effects. Our Neolithic Revolution, our change from the old Stone Age to the new Stone Age, leads to this idea of agriculture. Okay, and agriculture then leads to a division of labor. And that division of labor is important because, as I said earlier, it allows us to create new and better things to live with. Okay, the division of labor then leads to what we refer to as civilization. Okay, additional terms. Sorry, the last couple slides, a little boring, but hey, you're getting your study guide done, so we'll follow along. A confederation, okay? This is a union of several states or groups of people, okay? Maybe a good example for you guys to understand a confederation is the idea of a sports conference, the Heart of Illinois Conference that the, the Fieldcrest Knights belong to. That is an example of a confederation. We work together to put on sporting events, but they don't control what we do in our school, for example, in terms of what our rules are. Again, we mentioned an artisan. This is that person skilled in a craft. Again, don't confuse that with an artist, okay? Although they may produce things that are very beautiful and art-like. Economy, goods and services produced to serve a people's needs, okay? Whether that be um, products we need in terms of food or tools or clothing. It can also be services like building my house for me, okay? Taking care of me if I'm sick, okay? Uh, teaching you how to read and write. These are services. Barters, we talked about earlier. This is the trade of goods without money. It's a little messy trying to argue back and forth. Now, we use the word barter today, even though we use money to say, kind of haggling, debating the price. Okay, uh, I'll give you, I want $10 for this. How about five? Okay, uh, how about eight? How about seven? Okay, we'll meet at seven fifty. whatever it is. That kind of bartering. Originally, bartering is this idea of trade of goods and services without money. Goods for other goods. Technology. Not the technology like you guys, again, watching me on a computer here, but is this knowledge to, that allows us to make tools and do work, in fact, more work, better, faster. Last page, you happy? Only four here, getting most of our study guide done, looking at the idea of culture, the way of life of a people, and all the things that make up that way of life, language, behavior, beliefs, okay? All these things are part of our culture and there are various aspects of those. We'll be discussing those throughout the semester. Okay, a city-state. This is, I tell my students, this is the thousand point question on the test. City-state, okay? You get this one right, you get the regular amount of points. You miss it, minus a thousand. Okay, city-state. A city and the surrounding lands, okay? City, the definitions in the name. If you can't figure that one out, thousand points off. Okay, not really, they won't let me do that, but please don't miss that one. Exodus, okay? This is the departure of a large group of people. Remember we saw Moses back there leading the Israelites across the Red Sea, parting the sea. That's an exodus, okay? It's also a book in the Bible. It talks all about that, okay? And finally, a colony. And I want you to know this one because this is a settlement of people who leave their homeland to live someplace else, but they're still connected to their homeland. They might be the folks who still make the rules for them, or we're going there to grow food to send back to the homeland, okay? We, as the United States, formerly a colony of England, this is important because we're gonna see some of these early civilizations set up colonies, and that's how we see the spread of culture, this cultural diffusion, and it's something we wanna talk about throughout the semester, throughout the whole school year, this connections, the spread of ideas, and the spread of things uh, in terms of history and knowledge and how things that happened thousands of years ago can still be relevant to you today in Monarch. Mr. Pulley for Western Civ, thanks for listening.